Thank you for joining today. Um, today we are going to talk about Nest Suite CRM, and um, we're going to have a demo at the end of the presentation. First, I'll spend some time talking through some trends, what Nest Suite brings to the table, and thereafter, uh, we'll go ahead and have a live demo of the Nest Suite CRM. And then we'll do a Q&A session as well. So please send your questions via uh, Q&A chat window that you see on your screen. Um, before we get going, um, again, my name is Vishwit Parikh and I'm going to be talking to you about benefits of learning CRM in NetSuite Cloud. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know NetSuite, uh, we are the world's number one cloud suite, business suite, provide entire business suite, not only CRM, but today we're going to focus on CRM, but we have an ERP uh, e-commerce platform as well as the uh, uh, financial and professional services automation solution as well. More than 16,000 organizations worldwide use NextSuite to run their business, and we are one of the fastest growing uh, cloud ERP financial management solution in the world. We are used across 100 countries, so we have multi-currency, multi-text capabilities built into uh, our product. It comes, comes natively with the product. As you can see on the bottom of the screen, some of the largest companies along with us, some of the fastest growing companies have standardized their business uh, running on NetSuite, either CRM, ERP, or the full suite. You know, various studies have shown that the large percentage of CRMs are implemented without significant business gains. There are different different percentages thrown out by different analyst firms. Without going into too much detail into the percentages, but that is the case that most companies find, that they have not actually realized the business gains that they had hoped for when they implemented CRM. This is not to say that CRM is not a mission-critical solution for your business, but rather it reflects on a lack of planning. In a market plagued with checklist buying, I must have a CRM because my competitor has it or some other company has it. It's easy to buy things that you actually don't need. Uh, typical CRMs focus on automating existing processes. This means you really need to know what process uh, that you want to optimize before you even get going. Typical, this typically involves your entire organization, including services, marketing, finance, not only sales. So when you look at CRM, typically the focus is on optimizing sales productivity, but that's not the case. You should look at holistically how you want to improve your processes, make sure that uh, your sales productivity is also impacted along with the other aspect of your business. And the impact of choosing the right CRM is not only limited to sales organization. That's the first thing that you need to keep in mind. Look at the whole problem holistically. NetSuite is the number one cloud business management suite, like I mentioned before, powering the Salesforce automation, order management, financial management, renewals, marketing automation, and partner management, providing a seamless flow from lead to opportunity to order in front office to the revenue recognition, invoicing, and payment in the back office. It goes beyond traditional CRM. NetSuite Complete Business Suite streamlines the entire lead to cash process, providing a seamless flow from the lead to opportunity to quote to sales orders in front office and revenue recognition, invoicing, and a payment in the back office. Unlike other point CRM solution, NetSuite CRM includes orders, and it is integrated with ERP. This makes NetSuite the only cloud CRM solution to automate the back office functions along with the front office delivering a real-time 360-degree view, customer view. NetSuite efficiently automates the sales process and management of the sales process force and manages all stages of the sales process from initial customer contact to closing the deal. And not only that, also the renewal part of the business as well. So once you have your customer, you also want to keep them and renew them so that NetSuite can manage the entire sales cycle or customer cycle, if you will. The unique thing about NetSuite is that the orders are part of the CRM solution, which is typically not the case with a point CRM solution. It might be surprising to know that how often basic business processes such as creating an order from a quote is not handled efficiently in a point CRM solution. But NetSuite, the sales rep can provide a quote with accurate pricing as soon as a prospect has expressed interest. Once the prospect decides to order, the rep can quickly create the quote, convert the quote into an order right in the same system so you don't need to actually leave that system. 
order management cap- capabilities are completely integrated with NetSuite. The order is then, if you have an ERP, func- ERP suite with NetSuite, the order is then tr- routed to finance for their approval. All the information entered by sales rep is seamlessly passed to finance. So they can actually look at the order, they can look at the pricing, discounting, whatever that they need to do before they can approve the order. Once it is approved by finance, it instantly routes to sub- subsequent fulfillment for, a sub- for fulfilling the order, invoicing revenue recognition, accelerating the entire code to order process, making the customer a loyal and a regular customer because they get this service right from the SIM system. So when they talk, when, depending on where they are, in this, what stage they are, the rep is able to give them most accurate information because they can, it's coming from the same system. Another most important thing is the incentive compensation. The question to ask yourself is that, is your incentive compensation or sales compensation is in line with what you want to uh, achieve as a company? Are your salespeople operating in the same exact uh, objectives as you have set out for companies? And your compensation plan should be doing that, but is it doing that? With NetSuite, integrated incentive compensation management, you can drive the behavior of your salespeople because they have a complete visibility of their compensation plan as well as how much money are they going to earn if they were to convert this opportunity into order. So that information is no longer coming from a different system. They do no longer have to rely on shadow accounting to track, keep track of their commissions because they can see that in real time. This allows them to focus on selling rather than keeping track of how much money they're going to make if they were to close this deal making them more efficient and more productive. <clears throat> Salesperson can rely on NetSuite's integrated solution to provide them real-time visibility into inventory levels. Why is that important? Because if, as they are talking to their customer, they can always give them accurate information. They can talk to them about current marketing promotions and past history of the customer to monetize existing customers with the upsell and cross-sell features. They have complete visibility of what customer has done from calling in for service requests, for ordering, for what service packages that they have purchased. They have that information because it's a one business suite. For example, they can upsell an existing customer on better maintenance package at this time of renewal since they can see how often they have called into customer service in past year. This type of cross-functional visibility empowers sales to be in tune with their customers. Not only are they just selling them, but they are actually educated on what the customers are doing, how often they are using their services, how often they are calling in, and what type of questions they are asking. They have complete visibility to be better serving their own customers. All businesses, whether it's a B2C or B2B, have websites. Websites are like phone numbers. Everyone has it. Whether you are selling it on website or generating leads or just providing information, most of you would agree that recording all customer actions on the e-commerce site is useful. Yet few are willing to make the investment to replicate that data into separate CRM system. It's very expensive to capture the data on your website, whether it's an order, whether people are coming in, the clicks, whatever they are downloading, you want to capture that so you can serve those customers or prospects better. But it's very difficult and expensive to replicate all that information to CRM. The only way to achieve that, this goal is to build a CRM and e-commerce directly onto the same platform, creating a single data source. NetSuite Complete Business Suite includes CRM capabilities integrated with e-commerce platform, allowing you to capture and connect all customer interactions and transactions. It can also enable you to present relevant products and make attractive offers as you see the behavior of your customers going to your website. Typically, before they even pick up a call, before they even pick up a phone to call you, the first interaction nowadays is through your website. And you want to make sure you capture that first interaction with your potential customer. How about marketing automation? A, a true CRM solution should have an integrated marketing solution, marketing automation as well. And be, nowadays, it's almost prerequisite that you have to determine the ROI of your campaign that you're running. 
budgets are tight, marketing is always being scrutinized year over year to make sure that the money that they're spending, they're getting the return on their investment. How do you do that? With Nestor CRM, it comes with a completely integrated marketing automation software. This automates your entire marketing process, allowing you to better align campaigns and programs with your sales teams. Not only that you're just making sure that you're getting best leads out of your campaign, but at the same time, you're also making sure that when the leads are created, they're passed to salespeople appropriately with the appropriate routing rules. You don't want to create a conflict within your sales organization. So with NetSuite Marketing Automation, you can ensure the right people based on their territory are getting the right leads in a timely manner. With NetSuite's marketing software, you can target, build, execute, and measure the success of marketing campaigns from leads to order to cash received. If you decide to use the integrated ERP solution, you can not only just look at the leads, but you can actually track that lead all the way to the cash received from your customer. This is very powerful. No other marketing automation can provide such ROI data from the lead to cash. As most of the businesses uh, nowadays are relying on indirect sales or partner, partner, channel partner uh, way to generate additional revenue. In the recent Forrester study, it says that only 31% of a vendor's channel partner community is actively selling for them. Just only 31% of the partner community is actively selling for the vendor then what are they doing for the rest of the time? Oh, are they selling your competitor's products? Are they selling against you? What is happening? How many are truly trained? How many partners are truly trained and enabled and motivated and supported to represent your company and execute for you? If your business has indirect sales or partner channel, then NetSuite Partner Relationship Management is your one-stop shop for real-time collaborative channel management. NetSuite gives you full control over every element of the partner-focused sales and marketing process, including joint marketing campaigns, lead management, sales forecasting, pipeline management, order processing, and partner commissions and royalties. Yes, you can also make sure that your partners are getting compensated for the deals that they bring to you in the close on your behalf so that you can actually uh, motivate your partners and make sure that they, they are getting paid in a timely manner. NetSuite is also mobile enabled, meaning that you can actually get the information that we are talking about today, all the dashboards, the transactions for, to make your sales force very productive. NetSuite mobile app empowers on-the-go professionals with the rich capabilities and data access. Anything that you can see while you're logged in, you can get that information onto your mobile phone making your salespeople very productive. Managers are also able to track dashboards, KPIs, and immediately resolve critical issues while out of the office because we have a mobile workforce. People are distributed all over, the, all over the country, and they can actually respond to a need, customer need in a timely manner. And just like standard NetSuite, data encryption, enterprise-grade password policies, and additional authentication layers, and role-based field-level security are all enforced on a mobile as well. So there's no uh, concern about security while you're using the, accessing the data or your mobile device. Be I mean, before you before evaluating the right CRM solution, it is important that you realize that the only productive sales force can improve your company's profitability. The right CRM software can ensure an increase in the velo velocity of a company's sales cycle and simultaneously ensure that all bottlenecks are eliminated. The right solution can also enhance the efficiency of your sales team and allow them to focus on key clients. With the NetSuite CRM, the unique capabilities that are listed here are based, you get, the entire, you get instant visibility of your customer transaction, not only from the front office side, but also from the back office side if you decide to use the entire business suite. So the inventory, payment, and fulfillment is completely integrated with the back office. You can also get built-in order management, which I mentioned earlier, that something as trivial as creating an order from a code 
is not that easy, but with NetSuite is a is part of CRM solution. So and so forth. For those of you who are operating in the multiple countries, quotas in multi currency, taxation, all those things are part of NetSuite CRM. You get that with that because we are multi currency enabled. And also, as I mentioned before, e commerce. It's also integrated. So anything that happens in your website, you can directly record that in your CRM system, empowering your salespeople to react to what the prospects are looking for. Without me present, uh, without uh, going into slides further, I would like to hand this over to Phil Robinson, who's going to show you a live demo of our CRM product. Phil? Okay, so we just heard some really good information from Bishroot. Uh, again, my name is Phil Robinson. I'm a technology specialist here at NetSuite. Um, and I'm going to give you a brief demonstration over about the next 30 minutes. We'll leave some time for Q&A. And as we can all see right now on the screen, I'm going to log in using a browser. And as we all know with good, any good cloud application, where I can use any of the major browsers out there. We test on Explorer, Firefox, Safari, and Chrome. Um, and it's very, very secure. Um, we use a, an, an algorithm like online banking, a 120-bit SSL algorithm. What does this mean? What it means is I can work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I can be at a friend's place, use their device, log in, nothing's going to be left on that device. So it really does allow us to live, you know, work as much as we want to work, which I know is everyone's goal. Um, of course, you'll notice now with the login, I'm logging in with my email. Each person in the company logs in with their unique email. So. We have a sort of named user model that means we know who made what changes when they log in. And let me just click on the login button here and show you what happens when I get into the system. So what I'm going to do here is log in in the upper right hand side. You can see in the role of a sales director. The shrewd talk to us about roles. And what you'll notice in this demo is I have access to a few different roles to give you a taste today of what it's like in marketing and support and so on. The great thing with these roles are the flexibility. So NetSuite comes out of the box with some prepackaged roles, but with just a few clicks, I can easily modify these roles, which control right down to the field level what I can see and do. So if you have different sales teams and you want them to share or you don't want them to share certain information, it's very, very easy with these roles to do that. Now I'm logged in right now as a sales director, so I'm really managing a team, maybe with teams underneath that, and want to have visibility from a sales point of view. So this dashboard has given me a quick snapshot on how my business is doing. And just to give you a taste of how information can be presented, you can see here I've got a, examples of a few key things like key performance indicators. Now this is a great example of how NetSuite comes out of the box with over 100 standard KPIs, but I've just chosen a handful to give you a taste on what they're like. And what a KPI is, or a key performance indicator does, is measure any of the data in the system. So what that means is I can easily see how I'm doing this month versus last month, this quarter versus last quarter, and of course I can easily drill down into the underlying information. So just with a simple click, I can get to the high level information about what's going on here. If I want to drill deeper into the ACME, I can go right down into the individual transaction. So the whole idea is just with a few clicks I can get from a high level point of view on what's happening go down into a detailed transaction very, very quickly. And we'll do that a little bit throughout the day. So even when I'm not logged in, NetSuite does a wonderful job at communicating to me as a director. I might be traveling on a plane and so on. I can have my dashboard emailed to me. We can have reports emailed to me on a scheduled basis. And I can even know, be notified with what we call an alert. So imagine uh, Vishroot just came on as a hot sales rep in his first month. He's got a million dollar opportunity. He puts that in the system. I can be alerted within 60 seconds that he did such a thing. So it means that I can manage by exception. I can know what's going on when I'm not logged into the system. If something critical happens or fails to happen, the system, NetSuite, will let me know. And when I do log in, of course, we've got information like these KPIs that we can see here. Um, it's very, very easy to you know, show things in a, in a graphical view. But you also extend the concept of key performance indicators into something called scorecards. And we have a simple example down in the lower window there called service versus product um, sales. And the idea with scorecards is that I can look at multiple time periods. Maybe I want to look at the last 12 weeks, 12 months, and do simple or complex formulas. And so what this does as an executive is save me a lot of time. I no longer have to run pivot tables, export a bunch of different reports into a pivot table and we will teach you to build your own scorecards. It's just another way of sort of tracking 
what's happening in the business, an, an example of the flexibility that's going on here. Below that, you see the example of what we call a report snapshot. Maybe there's a critical report like forecasting. I'd like to have it right here in my dashboard without even having to one, make one click to a critical report. Maybe things are in a graphical format, as you see on the left here, so I can see things like pie charts or KPI indicators. And also have in, information, maybe not right here, but I can click down into it with things like reminders. The bottom line, everyone, is that there's great flexibility and I can see everything I want to see. Now this shows just sales information. Later on we'll show you marketing and support information. When we set up NetSuite, I could see that as well. Maybe I want to see the top trouble tickets coming in from some of my existing customers. Maybe I want to see what marketing's up to. This just gives you a simple taste of what it's like as a manager of a team, uh, you know, looking at what's going on with sales information here. Uh, one of the things that Bishroot pointed out is NetSuite's quite unique in offering a commissions module. So I can see right here on my dashboard what my, uh, my team's not doing very well this year, obviously, very low commissions. But the whole idea is that I can see this in real time. And everyone knows that sales reps will probably write this on a scratch of paper if they don't have it right there in front of their eyes. So we make it very easy to calculate commissions, have them authorized, and so on. Uh, we also have very, very robust reporting. And so it's very, very easy with one click to navigate to um, you know, any of the reports that are out there. So if I want to look at my forecast versus my quota, I can sort of see this on you know, the entire screen here. And when we load up this quick report, you can see I've got it broken down by team. I can very easily drill down into individual reps, take a look to see how they're doing, and make it very easy to manage the, the team on what they're planning to bring down the line or what they've already brought down the line. So there's dozens of sales reports out of the box. They're all very easy to customize with clicks, as you can see on the bottom left, very easy to print and export into Excel, if I wish, for presentations, and even have them scheduled to be sent out to people automatically. So a lot of robust visibility at the executive level. Now let's take a closer look at what happens on an individual customer record basis. So to do that, I'm going to use the global search here because it's probably the feature I personally use more than anything else, and type in Smith Supplies. We can see there's a lot of records there. If I only want to look at a customer record, I can see let's look at a customer called Smith Supplies. So you can imagine that if somebody hired me on the team and said Smith Supplies is our marquee customer, you know, I want you to get familiar with them. Bashrut's now my manager, but he's jumping on a plane. Okay, so I'm really, it's up to what's in the system. So here's an example of what could be on a customer record. You may call these account records or client records. Again, everything in NetSuite is very flexible. Everything can be renamed, uh, every tab, every field. And so we're just going to show you here what comes out of the box with a customer record. And we've laid it out in a way that makes the demonstration very easy. Just know that we can have different layouts for different people in the organization. Maybe if I'm a salesperson, I want to have the sales tab front and center. If I'm a support person, I want the support tab front and center. So we can have different layouts, and unlike other providers out there, we give you almost no limits as to how much you can extend these records. We can have literally thousands and tens of thousands of fields on all of these records here. So let's just take a quick look at you know, this customer account record and kind of see some of the key elements here. So as you'd expect with any good CRM, we have very robust um, contact management, so each contact each person has a record, contacts could be associated to multiple companies. And we happen to be using an example here of a customer that's a business. We also support customers that are individuals as well. So maybe you do B2C sales and you do B2B sales of equipment. Um, for, very, you know, for larger customers, they may have a hierarchy of sub-customers as well. And something that's a differentiator um, beyond what you heard from Vishrut is even the ability to manage projects. Um, this is just a simple example of a very basic project. But that's also something that's built into our CRM. So if you do installation projects or rollout projects with customers, we have that as well. And then, of course, we have, as you'd expect, it's part of the course now, very strong communication management. So we can track email messages. We you know, integrate out of the box with products like Outlook and Gmail, et cetera, and track things such as activities, notes, and even digital files that we can have attached here. Or if you need document management, we integrate with products like Box.com. So we have a lot of great communication. What I personally like to do, and I'm sure Vishrut you do similar things, is when I want to look at what's going on, I look at the history and the timeline perspective. So here I can look back on time and see what's going on. 
So this is really the Shrewd's town. I'm taking over for it. I might have some communication going back and forth. And then I go, I'm traveling. When he comes back, you know, he can come in and see this information here. So it's very, very easy to see that, that communication um, going on. And then, as you already heard from Vishrut, there's really three main elements of CRM from a, a team perspective. There's the sales team, the marketing team, the support team. This is all built in to the CRM. And we're going to take a closer look in a minute. So let me just give you an overview here. From sales, as Vishrut said, we go beyond the classic opportunity management. So one other thing that uh, someone wants to see is that um, if you can show them uh, how the leads are also tracked and from the lead to opportunity and to the order. If you're going to show that flow, that would be very helpful. Yeah. yeah. And we'll be doing that in a minute after we go through this overview. Thank you, Vishru. You're a step ahead of me there. Um, what was missing is an agenda slide to show everyone what we're going to do. So uh, here we've got you know, the, the classic opportunity management. We'll take a closer look at that. But this is where a lot of SFAs stop. You have a closed one opportunity, and it goes maybe into a financial system. And of course, we offer financials as well, but we extend that beyond the opportunities you know, into, um, you know, into other transactions as well. So we do have sales orders. We have the ability to uh, add quotes as well. And as you said, Bashrut, if you do extend into the full ERP, we also support things like invoicing, item fulfillment, and so on. And so you can either connect it to another ERP system back office or extend it later on. It's quite common for people to start with our CRM and then add on other elements of the suite later on because you know, sales needs something right now. Um, so I can see things such as the items that are purchased. And because we have such a strong item engine, we also provide capabilities not common in other CRMs like upsell engines. So whether this is notifying the sales rep, how you're on the phone call with someone selling industrial machines or auto parts, you could have a couple of million parts here. What are some other related parts that might be of interest to these people? And here's an example of adding on fields and you know around qualification, anything you want to add on to the sales here. And we're going to take a closer look, like you said, Vishrut, at how leads come in and we track opportunities and so on in a minute. But that's just a high level look at how all the sales information is connected at the customer level and we can of course report on this. We'll also be taking a closer look at marketing and PR. And the reality is that because it's one system, sales may take advantage of campaign management. So run sales campaigns as a rep, maybe I'm going to a conference, I want to let all of my leads and prospects know that I'll be there as a sales rep versus the shrewd and marketing might be doing more corporate-wide or high-level sort of marketing information as well. We also support things like online lead forms. If somebody enters a form online, it immediately gets routed to the appropriate person, and it means I can call back within a matter of minutes, and that actually often impresses people at our company. We obviously use our own system here. Here and you know, people get a phone call back and they go, wow, that was very quick. So we have a lot of functionality we'll take a look at in marketing. And then, of course, we have complete case management or support or trouble ticketing. Of course, it's going to be renamed within the same system as well. And the advantage there is if I'm selling back into an existing customer, I might want to know from a sales point of view, are they very upset right now with something that's not working um, or vice versa. So having that shared visibility this is all part of the CRM, and we're going to be taking a closer look at these three areas over the next few minutes. The other thing to note, of course, is that NetSuite does allow you to add on the ERP functionality or integrate to another ERP. So whether you add it on or whether you're integrated, you've got the visibility into the financials. So you can see if somebody hasn't been paying the invoices. We all know about the sales rep that is great at selling and the customer that's great at buying but they don't necessarily like to pay for some reason, or they just pay very, very slowly. So having that visibility, whether it's from an outside system or from within that, the rolling out, adding on the suite, again, is you know, a great, great uh, advantage, something that allows you to keep running one system rather than starting to have to bolt systems together, which is sort of the whole other you know, side of the equation. Um, and of course, we have all the other information around, like addresses and so on, even complete audit trails. And this is really just a, a quick look at a customer record. One way to summarize this is we also have what we call a customer dashboard, the ability to look at a dashboard specific to one customer. Now, this poor executive cannot see cases, as you can see, without permissions. But we've got the ability here to see transactions to evaluate what's going on, really just looking at the information that came out of the box. So this is what gets you started. Know that you can easily hide and trim things down to have less information or add as much more information as you want as well. 
So that's a very, very quick look at a, at a customer record. So what we're going to do now, like you said, Vishrut, is take a closer look at sales marketing and support. So let's go into a, a sales rep role here. We're just going to change dashboard. So imagine now if they're a different voice, now logged in as a sales rep. And here's an example of a dashboard. And on this dashboard, you can see that it looks very similar, but if we look closely, it's all really about me, how I'm doing as a rep. Because as an individual contributor, I want to know what my leads are, what my orders are. Now, if I'm a player coach, you can actually mix what you saw on these two dashboards together. Again, it's part of the flexibility. I can see what my commissions are and everything else. In addition to having that information, what I really want front and center too is to see maybe right here on the screen, what are my leads and what are my phone calls? So let's drag those up you know, to the top here. Um, so we can see that front and center. So even when I'm not logged in, remember the system can alert me when something happens. Imagine somebody enters an online lead form and because they've got a big enough budget or urgency, I get notified within about 60 seconds that they enter that information. I wasn't even logged into the system. I can reach out to that person and be very, very quick on response. I can do things like plan my day and see what appointments I might have in this case around the Bay Area, see how I'm doing versus the other reps in the system. So again, if it's in the system, I can have it on my specific dashboard, but this dashboard is more functional. I can actually do things like track a phone call, send out an email directly from my dashboard. So it's not just a pretty picture telling me what's going on. I can really do things directly from this dashboard. So. In this particular case, you know, we might say, well, let's say a new lead did get entered, and so I might want to have a look at one of the, the new leads that came into the system here. And here you can see there's a lot of new leads that have uh, come in. Some of them have already been processed. Uh, some, of them are, some of them are brand new. And we might say, well, let's take a look here. Let's take a look at uh, a new lead. Uh, we'll just pull, pull, up a, pull up an individual here. Um, let's take a look at... Steve Smith as an example. So if the information is actually entered from someone else, they would have information right here on the system. Or I might actually get a phone call come in. And when we have the phone call come in, we could trim down this information. At a minimum, we probably want to have the phone number, of course, so we can call the person back if we get cut off. Later on, you know, we could track their email. This could all be information that's already been entered in online form. Maybe we even have, um, you know, uh, hopefully he doesn't just have a Gmail account. We could have information come in from a conference. We went and we imported a bunch of uh, leads directly from an Excel spreadsheet. Maybe it came even from another marketing system, um, and we're more of the CRM system. So very, very easy to track the information you know, about the lead that's here. And then after we've got the lead in the system, we've got the ability to, of course, you know, track the opportunity, start a brand new opportunity, start a brand new quote, start a brand new order. What I'm going to do though, just in the interest of saving time, because we only have a few minutes today, is actually take a look at an existing opportunity and order. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at one that I looked at previously, as is one of my little favorite features. The system remembers what I was looking at. No matter what computer I go to, it remembers that. I've got one click, you know, favorites any, on any computer in the world. So if we take a look at the um, opportunity record here, and go to edit mode. This is the classic opportunity when you need it. So you may run a field group that is very opportunity centric. You might have a uh, inside sales group that just immediately sends out quotes. So NetSuite's more flexible than those other SSAs. You can start wherever you want. But here's you know, an example of how classic opportunity may have stages, and these different stages, of course, will drive various probabilities. We can track when these opportunities are going to close, uh, which will help with the forecasting. And we can get a lot more detailed on the forecast management. We have very robust forecast management. We have over a few hundred reps now at our company. We manage all of those, again, using our system. And if I choose, I can even get down to the individual item level. Your opportunity may just be for a dollar amount, but we may actually already have early on specific items. One of the things that Vishrut mentioned, we have a very strong engine to handle things like multi-currency taxations and so on. So if I sell into Canada, if I sell in the U.S., if I so um, different currencies, different price points. It's all something built into the CRM, again, that you wouldn't get in a traditional CRM. So a lot of great uh, functionality and visibility with the opportunity. And this is, again, where most systems stop. We have a closed one opportunity. 
and you go, okay, well, I don't have any other visibility. Well, what if I don't, maybe, maybe I need to send out a quote. Maybe I start with a quote. So again, we have that flexibility here. Let me just go into another window so you can kind of see them all at once here. I've actually got the ability to send out multiple quotes. Maybe somebody says, well, what if I buy 100 units? What if I buy 1,000 units? Can you give me a discount? I can actually send out these multiple quotes all tied to the same opportunity. And without even talking to Vishrut as my manager, he can see, okay, Phil always sends out three quotes, so they always get the middle quote. That's, that's his style. We can see how he works from a sales point of view and use this quote to drive what's going to be in the forecast. So for those of you that need the quote management, that's automatically built in as well. And then, of course, we hope that most quotes end up in a sales order, so we take you all the way through to the sales order. Now, the invoice you see there at the bottom would only exist if we integrated or used the net CDRP. But here's the actual order. So what if they love the quote so much they change the quantity and they say they want more or they want slightly less? This is very important because not only will this become the order that we ship out if it's a product or provide if it's a service, we even calculate commissions based on the sales order. So we may have an opportunity for 100 units, send out a quote for 100 and 200, they buy 150. That's what we want to pay commissions on. We want to pay commissions on how much they actually bought from, from us in, in the sales cycle here. So a lot of power in having the ability to track opportunities if we want, quotes if we want, and of course orders, all within the same CRM. So the dashboards that you are showing, um, they're very powerful and uh, you can get a lot of information from those dashboards. Are they customizable? So from my, you showed us a my sales rep view, like my rep, my view, but the manager would be looking at the entire team. Can you customize those dashboards? Absolutely. Um, great question because I forgot to touch on that. So all of our screens are customizable, but especially the dashboard. So you'll notice on the top right I can personalize the dashboard. It's literally just a few clicks. So I can even say I'd like to have a calendar on there, what we call a quick date selector. You can see I could add a whole bunch of extra standard and custom reports. So there's definitely a lot of flexibility in terms of what's on these dashboards. And so what happens with the role of this route is the role determines what I'm allowed to have, but I can choose, as long as I'm given that freedom by my administrator, to choose what I have on these dashboards and, of course, drag things around. I particularly like this quick date selector because I can say, how am I doing this week versus last week? And it's going to actually update the information on things like my KPIs for this week versus last week. So there's a lot of flexibility here. Um, again, I'm glad you brought that up because really the dashboards and reports are both very easy just with a few clicks, as you see here, to really modify what I showed. So at the same time, I can see on my dashboard that there are reminders, and these reminders are basically there so that as a sales rep, I can plan out my day as to what I need to do for today, including the appointments that I have and the opportunities that I need to follow up on, so on and so forth, right? Absolutely. And you bring up a good point that we've got things like gentle reminders, and I'll just play that you're a bad cop. What if you forget to do something for Shrewd? And I'm your manager this time. I can be alerted that you forgot to do it, or vice versa. So what happens is things don't fall between the cracks, or you're stuck on a plane, you're stuck in an airport somewhere, and you can't get to a critical task you had to get done by the end of this week, I can jump in and help. So we have those reminders and then the ability to catch things if they don't go any further than that as well. Thank you for that, Phil. Um, I see what I really like is this uh, KPI that I see on the top of the screen that says my sales up 68%. Now, if I want to track different things right on top of the uh, dashboard there, is that customizable? Absolutely. All of these things that we're showing you are customizable. It's literally just a few clicks to sort of say what, what it's done there. And just to give you a sense of that, what we've got to move on soon is how it literally is just saying that if I want to see it on the headline, it's literally just a checkbox there. You can see just a check of a box puts it right on the headline. So it's very, very easy. We give you training. It's very easy for people to choose what they have. What we'll do, though, Vishrut, is we'll help your team set up a good out-of-the-box experience, and then you'll be able to tweet and then teach you, teach your team how to modify it beyond that. So again, a lot of flexibility, but a lot of best practice as well. So now let's take a very brief overview look at marketing and support. I think that you know the, the big thing about sales is they'll say, well, if I had better leads, I would do a better job. Those marketing guys aren't doing a very good job. And the shrewd, I'm sure you've never heard that. But 
there are some people who might say, well, then it's really up to marketing to bring in the quality leads. So one of the great things with NetSuite is that it does come out of the box with some awesome marketing functionality. We also have partners that even extend further if you want to get into areas like, you know, literally marketing to millions of people a month and then in this, and getting into more advanced areas. But let's just take a quick look at what comes out of the box here. And what you'll notice is I'm, I'm logged in with a marketing role only showing you marketing information. Remember, the shoot, these dashboards are flexible. I could have a, an executive role that shows me everything, marketing, support, sales, all on one dashboard. And we're not limited to this home dashboard. Each tab is a dashboard. But you brought up a very good point earlier, Vishrut, that really what matters at the end is the ROI. I know that you know I've been here at NetSuite now eight years, and I used to go to a lot of trade shows, but as we track the ROI, we work out, well, which trade shows are really worth going to? It takes time for people to buy a solution like ours, and that's true in a lot of industries, if I'm selling machines, whatever it might be. So to be able to track all the different campaigns and look back and say, well, which ones gave us the best ROI? Those are the ones we want to have more of our marketing spend go into. So over time, we can definitely see that. Now, if we take the example of an email marketing campaign, of course, we can immediately see the impact there in terms of clicks. So we've got the ability, this is obviously a demo account, but you can see we can track how many are sent out, how many opened, and so on. So what's nice is because marketing is built into the CRM, maybe I want to have slightly different messages to my top customers or to the largest leads based on employee count or whatever it might be. So the fact that it's all in one system is I can send out these campaigns and maybe I don't want to send out a, a generic campaign to a customer that has a lot of problems. You know, so by having access to that in the database as well, I can choose the logical target audience. So NetSuite does three things very well. It helps us to find a target group that is very specific based on any information in the database. If somebody's a top customer, they're going to get a slightly different message than someone that's a smaller customer. If somebody's called in with a lot of problems and we really don't want to do business with them, we can exclude them from certain messages. So the ability to define these groups, and these groups can be static or dynamic, um, and based on the real data is really, really critical. Um, it's If you have a standalone marketing system, I don't have visibility into that. So they have that and define the groups that make sense to me, I can now take those groups and associate them with marketing templates that you can easily um, build or upload from your favorite you know, marketing template solution like a Dreamweaver or something, and combine them together in logical campaigns. So let's take a look at a campaign. And I'll show you what I mean here, Vishrut. So if we take a look at this November newsletter and we look down the bottom, you can see that what I've done here is I've already got a campaign that's scheduled for, it's actually scheduled for next year, a little bit while out. But I can have within the same campaign the same group or a different group. So I might choose to have here uh, a, maybe a tier one and a tier two, tier two group. So it's the same group but maybe based on size because I want to have a different message that gets sent out. So I could choose a different template. We even support subscriptions. So I know a lot of people don't like surveys. Um, but they'd love to get product updates. So we've got the ability to set these subscriptions and they can choose and they can manage what they want to get from, from us as well. Um, and then um, we can also schedule when this is going to be sent out. So maybe this gets sent out you know, uh, later this month or you know, in 2013 at a certain time. And even turn into promotions. We haven't talked about this. We have a very strong promotions engine as well. It can be time-based, one-time use only, and so on. It's a natural you know, part of what we provide in our CRM. And once it's scheduled, this email campaign will now be sent out of NetSuite. The statistics will be tracked here. And of course, it'll be stored in that customer record. And that's what's going to enable us to have those statistical reports and the, um, the, the ROI reports as well. And so this is something we use ourselves. You know, a lot of our customers love the fact that it's built in. They don't have to get another solution out there like a constant contact or anything else. It's all sort of built into the marketing. And what you're going to see is that having this built in to the solution will make your salespeople seem more knowledgeable. When I pick up the phone and go, oh, I noticed you, you, you heard about our new conference that we're running next month and so on. You know, it's all in one system. We haven't got these siloed marketing siloed support and organizations and so on. Speaking of support, <laughs> one of the questions, Phil, that I have on a uh, 
panel here is that would it be possible for us to show them the self-service portal uh, right. that we have? Ahead of me. Step ahead of me. That's actually where we're going to go next. So um, we're actually going to show that in the context of, of, of support or case management because uh, it kind of dovetails in very nicely there. So let's talk a little, we talked briefly about case management. Let's take a closer look. So I'm now going to log in as a support director. Remember everyone, we can have these dashboards all combined as, as one, one giant dashboard. They don't all have to be kind of separate here. Um, and what we're just showing here though is visibility on things like high level priority cases. So as an, as an example, you might say, well, there's a lot of questions that we answer. They're not really trouble tickets in the, in the traditional sense that we, we just want to answer simple questions. But when there are big problems, not only do I want them on a dashboard, maybe the sales reps wants to be alerted. Um, so the sales rep no longer has to call and say, is the customer happy? They'll be alerted when there's a high priority problem or case here. And so I'm going to use a simple example here of somebody calling. We'll say Tim Smith calls in. I'm going to type in Tim Smith's name and bring up the contact record. Now, for those of you that say, well, I've got hundreds of calls that come in every day through our telephone systems, we have wonderful partners that do things like screen pops and give you telephony systems and routing rules and so on. So you'd have this screen already come up here. And maybe this is the first tab we would see. And we've noticed right now that Tim does not have any support cases that he's called in for because he said, well, you know, actually I'm calling in on behalf of one of my colleagues. at Smith Supplies that called in yesterday or a few days ago with some trouble tickets. So very quickly I can go there and I can see that, yes, indeed, there are some um, issues that are open cases here. And I can very quickly drill in. Maybe Vishru spoke to the other person yesterday and he's not around today and I'm covering now in the support organization. So very, very quickly I can get down and see the visibility on the case, see the messages that are going back and forth. Of course, we have a complete knowledge base that maybe have already been referenced. And so this is the example of a phone case. You know, somebody's calling in. Now, that happens, but the, the ideal, of course, to your point, Bashrut, is maybe we want to be able to have provide a customer portal with this self-service, and that's going to save us money and save us time. And so in addition to supporting things here at the, um, you know, at a phone level, if you like, and dealing with cases and, and everything else, um, and while we're here, just to show you, of course, everything's very, very flexible. You're going to have your own types of problems. You're going to have your own statuses of when they're started and so on. And of course, the ability to automatically escalate based on time. You know, if I capture the case and I'm out ill for, with the flu, is the flu season, it might automatically escalate to the shrewd after a certain amount of time. So all of that's sort of built in. But let's take a look at the best case, I think, is the one where the customer looks after themselves. And so this is, again, a little unique feature. NetSuite provides this free customer center. Unlike a lot of companies that charge for these things, it's absolutely free. We want you to have millions of customers, hopefully. And what the customer center allows a customer to do is, yes, I can look at orders and quotes, but I can also see the support cases. So maybe I, after I called in, um, and at night time I want to go in and see if there's any updates on the support cases. Of course, I may have been alerted. Better than that, what I might be able to do is actually look on the knowledge base and answer my own uh, question without actually having to get on the phone and, and you know, have a conversation. And so the great thing here is that if you just take an example, let's say 10% of your cases are now self-service. That's 10% of the time that your team used to spend handling cases, um, which is a very low percentage, are now being self-service. Other things maybe people do now email to case where they can email support at Gill Inc. and it will come in and support a case that way. Everything we can do to reduce the time when we do have to deal with a case, we can easily handle with, um, with the support functionality. Um, we, so on this customer portal, we can share other information as well. We can share item information. This can really be a very robust thing. And this is starting to give you a sense of the strength we have in e-commerce. Long term, you might decide to even roll out some e-commerce. But the customer center gives me visibility into my support side of the house. I can even see things like orders and quotes that are out there. Um, if you do decide to extend into the ERP side, we'll even accept payments online. And this is just getting you started. There's a lot more that we can do even beyond this when you get into the full sort of like e-commerce. So what's great with this customer center is that it's very, very, again, very flexible and it's going to save a lot of time on the support organization and give a lot of great visibility on the sales side as well. So ultimately, whether they enter the case 
um, online or whether they enter the case somewhere else. Even when I'm in sales and I'm about to go in and ask Smith Supplies for a million dollar contract, one of the first things I'd probably do on my phone or my iPad or a laptop is come in and say, you know what, I know sales very well. I wonder if there's any big outstanding cases. Okay, they all look medium priority. I'm totally up to speed. And I remember Vishrut, you know, not naming names, but I used to work in another software company and the rep would call up support and say, how are they doing at XYZ hard drive company in the Valley? A name you probably know. And say, why are you asking? I'm about to ask them for $8 million today. This was during the boom. And he, but he had to use the phone and he had to call in. Now having this one CRM, he could just look it up. He'd be alerted of his problems, be refreshed, and go in and help close that sale. So there's really a win-win between the sales, the marketing, and the support organization with our CRM. And of course, the ability to extend it further into the suite. So I know we ran about a, a little, three minutes longer than we were planning to before, Vishrut, but um, now if we'd like to hand over to you for uh, comments and, and open up for Q&A. Thank you, Phil, for that a great demonstration and uh, taking the questions as you are doing the demonstration. So thank you for doing that. Um, there are a few other questions that I see coming through chat window here. So one of the questions is, um, it's great to see uh, Salesforce automation, marketing automation, and services piece. But uh, we actually, and the incentive compensation module that is also integrated, but we don't actually compensate on um, the sales order or the amount of the revenue, but we actually compensate when the account payable, when we receive cash. Can this be handled uh, with uh, NetSuite? And if so, do I need to have the ERP solution as well? That's the question. Okay. Two-part question. So the short answer is yes, we can handle it. Um, and actually, no, you don't have to get the ERP solution, although it would make it a little bit easier um, if you had that because we'd know the payment's already there. But let's say you have an outside ERP. It'd be very, very easy to connect to that system and simply change the classification on the sales order. So it's very, very common in commissions to say, okay, until the machine went live or until something happened, we're not going to pay you commissions. And so we have the ability, if you like, to put a status, uh, for want of a better term here, or classification for sure on a sales order. So it'd be very, very easy to do that just with the CRM, or even easier um, with ERP, because you can actually then say a rule that I only want it based on payment, whether it's 100% payment or partial payment, that type of thing. So short answer is yes. Thank you, Phil. Um, the next question is, um, I can maybe I can handle this one, is that uh, we like the fact that you have this e-commerce platform and we, you're right about uh, uh, ability to capture all the transactions that happens on our website into CRM. We are struggling with that. Um, but the question is that do we need to buy everything together in order to make this work? Uh, or can we start with the CRM and then add the e-commerce stuff from later mm -hmm. or vice versa? Uh, um, I, yeah, I, yeah, it is like Lego blocks. You can really start wherever you want. Uh, I think it's one of the beauties of NetSuite. We get a lot of people that start with just the CRM or some people start with e-commerce, some people start with accounting, but you really can't, it's really just a matter of turning it on. And that's sort of, I think, the practical side in the business. Bishrut, maybe we don't, in a business, have the bandwidth to change every department overnight. All right, so it, I'd say it's very, very common when we talk to people about CRM that they say, well, we're going to start there, or maybe they say, we have an e-commerce initiative. We'd like to start with that first. And you can definitely do it in phases. Um, very, very common, especially with our larger clients, just because of the sheer scale of what they want to do. So it's very, very easy to start wherever you want to and then sort of add on the other functionality as you need it. So, and I think we have uh, time for one more question. Um, as far as like attachments, we have different types of files that we need to attach to the record, uh, and namely like a drawings and they could be PDFs and whatever not because we are an engineering service company uh, contracts, for example. How do we do that and is it possible to make sure that it's secure? Great question. So the short answer is yes, we support attachments. Um, now here's the longer, uh, so the short answer. The longer answer is that within NetSuite, we certainly can have security at a folder level and attach those files. Now given that the question came from an engineering company, here's the caveat. 
NetSuite's a great solution for attaching things like PowerPoints and so on. If you start getting into engineering files of a substantial size, and we're talking gigabyte files and so on, then that's one of the reasons we have a very strong partnership with Box.com because they actually support files up to two gigabytes each per file and also offer very robust document management. So think of the NetSuite solution for Shrewd as like a hard drive in the sky with folders and then think of the box.com as, as a true document management solution. So your, your, your question, they, might, they could easily start with the NetSuite solution, but depending on the size of those files and their requirements, they could then add on that other functionality later. Thank you, Phil, for that. Um, at this time, um, I would like to thank all of you for great questions and particip participating today. Uh, we did not get to all the questions due to the time limit that we have, but we will be getting back to you soon and responding to your questions that we have not responded today. Once again, thank you very much.